Day 277 in the Rabbis vs. Brad Pitt standoff, and there may be hope in sight. Right out of Farmington Hills, I'm Mendy Pellin, and you're watching The Mendy Report on the Rabbinical News Network. Well, it all started almost a year ago. What experts believe would be a conventional 5 o'clock shadow quickly turned into a controversial beard and a major confusion of identity for this man, Rabbi Baruch Finkelstein. I was coming out of my synagogue, and all of a sudden, a substantial amount of people started asking me for my autograph. I didn't understand it at all. But he quickly realized that this was a classic case of mistaken identity. Someone showed me a photograph. His beard is a, a, a growth of, of note, just as mine is. And we look extremely alike, almost like two brothers in a certain sense. Many rabbis around the globe started reporting to Amnesty International that they too were being mistaken for a celebrity. People always walk over to me and say, Brad, Brad. It used to be when I was younger, they would come over to me because they thought I was easy top. But now they're getting me it, it, with this new Brad Pitt look. I mean, it's, I, can't, I can't park my car. People are screaming. Well, my friend told me that Brad gave a sermon at the synagogue last week. I can't believe I missed it. But the celebrity status quickly turned from exciting to unmanageable. At first I was thinking, wow, I can get used to all these cameras. It's pleasant in some ways, but it's so pervasive now. There are crowds outside my house. He should do the right thing and cut it. Avoid confusion. Because it's, it's not under our own names, it's under Brad Pitt's name, we cannot untag our own pictures to be ourselves anymore. I'm not Brad Pitt. I don't want anything to do with Brad Pitt. I'm finished with Brad Pitt and people coming and bothering me. So we most humbly request, please, please, cut your beard. Finally, the bearded controversy may be coming to a rest. We go straight to our entertainment department where Menachem reports. Yes, Mandy, after a private press conference, we have just discovered the motive behind the beard. Believe it or not, a rabbi has claimed responsibility for the facial tension that has been crippling the rabbinical community. It all started when Mr. Pitt was filming a movie in Farmington Hills. A local there paid him to dress up like his rabbi in anticipation of a big local perm event. Naturally, the costume would involve growing a beard. Th this is, has got to be some perm event. You can say that again. Well, here's the information we have thus far. This perm event is going to take place on Sunday, February 28th with Beis Chabad of Farmington Hills. The program will include a shul dedication in honor of the famous endodontist Dr. Arnold Ziggy Zuroff of blessed memory, who gave away $10 million of free root canals. Arnold's son, Dr. Moshe Mickey Zuroff, will read the Megillah at 9.30 a.m., which will be followed by a Yemenite brunch at 11 a.m. And of course, everyone is encouraged to attend in costume, beard, no beard, whatever they'd like. It's Purim, man. That's where I'd like to be, this Purim. We got it. By the way, if you'd like more information about this event, which is open to the public, you can call or visit their website listed right below me. Or maybe we don't, got... oh, there we go. Thank you very much for watching, and remember the schnauzel stops right here, because we're looking out for you.